We've all heard about the Big Bang, and I, I am really sad that the series has ended. But here, of course, I'm talking about the Big Bang that actually started everything. Again, most people have heard of that, but what do you know about the Big Crunch? And no, I'm not talking about some random candy bar. While most scientists believe that our universe began with a massive burst of energy, opinions remain divided about how everything will one day come to an end. There's a range of theories such as the Big Freeze and the Big Rip, but the one that's considered to be the most likely scenario is the Big Crunch. So what is the Big Crunch? The Big Crunch theory has its roots in Einstein's theory of general relativity. Everything in life follows an ebb and flow. When one event occurs, the reverse is likely to occur after hitting the extreme. If the Big Bang causes the expansion of the universe, then eventually the opposite will become true. Once the universe has reached its largest size, as determined by the amount of energy that's present, it will begin to re-collapse in on itself and in the end, form a massive black hole that contains all matter. Due to the conditions that are present in the singularity of this size, everything will be squashed down to a minuscule size, which is why it's called the Big Crunch. So probably not great news for all those of you who are claustrophobic and intend to live billions of years. But here's the good news. While the math suggests that the Big Crunch is possible and even probable, there's a problem for those who dedicate their careers to understanding questions like this. We don't yet fully comprehend everything in the universe, and there are a couple of unknowns that will affect our ultimate fate. First, the universe's expansion appears to be the interplay of two factors, density and outward momentum. Density has a direct correlation to the amount of gravity that is present, so the denser the universe is, the more gravitational forces that take place. This on its own would mean that everything will eventually gravitate towards everything else, and the final big crunch becomes an inevitability. Although there's no friction in space, the effect of gravity would be more than enough to counteract the initial outward momentum caused by the Big Bang, and all matter would essentially return to where it had come from. The problem with this though is that observations of the universe have shown that things aren't behaving as simply as we would expect. The outer reaches appear to be expanding at a faster rate than those closer to us and galaxies are actually moving further apart from each other. Scientists don't know why this is happening, but they have given a name to this unknown entity, dark energy. This extra element in the expansion of the universe means that there are two potential outcomes. It will either continue to expand forever and objects will be so far apart from each other that everything will freeze, or we could still face the big crunch. The determining factor is how much dark energy are actually there. If there is enough, which some scientists believe could be the case, then everything will continue to expand. If there isn't enough though, then the forces of gravity will once more eventually overcome it and bring everything back together again. Some believe the seeming prevalence of dark energy could well signal the beginning of the Big Crunch. However, in a report released in 2015, it was suggested that the current increased rate of expansion is the last gasp of the expanding universe and that within tens of billions of years, the contraction will begin. So how would the Big Crunch happen? If we assume that there isn't enough dark energy and that the Big Crunch does take place, then it won't be as spectacular as the Big Bang was. The universe will begin to contract evenly because matter is more or less distributed consistently. It will be a slow process, but will begin to gradually pick up in speed as galaxies got closer to one another and the forces of gravity have more of an effect. In about 100 billion years from now, as things reach a climax, temperatures would significantly increase and this would result in stars exploding and vaporizing and all objects will be broken down into their constituent atoms, which themselves will begin to break apart. In the final stages, as all matter from the universe compacts into a small space, things will become extremely chaotic, so much so that some predictions suggest that space-time will become so warped that it would shatter into droplets, meaning all concepts of time, distance, and direction would become meaningless. Of course, no living organism would have been able to survive to this point, and we would have all been doomed a long time before this. So with our lack of full understanding of the process taking place in the universe, 
It's impossible to know for sure how everything will end. One of the scenario is the big crunch, which will see every piece of the matter returning to where it originated. And, and all that will remain to be an unimaginably large black hole. What happens at that point really is anyone's guess and it could potentially see the birth of a new universe. It's also possible that this has all happened a number of times already and we're alive in just another in a long line of cyclical expansions and contractions. Again, only those of you whose plan is to be alive for billions of years will really have to worry about this.